What's up everyone, Patrick here, welcome back. And in this next video, we are told that a line segment has these endpoints, negative two and three and 14 and seven. And we have to find the points on the line segment that divide it into three equal parts. So this is a unique question and it's gonna be very different of a process than finding the midpoint. And so actually before getting into this, let's sort of do this is a general example so you see what's going on. Let's say that we're finding, we're taking a line segment that is one over here and then seven over here. Let's not look at X and Y, let's just pretend that these are the values of these two points. So if we wanted to find the midpoint between these two points, what do we do? Well, we add them together and divide by two, right? So that would be eight over two which would give us four. And that makes sense because notice four minus one, this here would be three, and then seven minus four, that there would be three units. So that makes sense what we've been doing so far. But now what we gotta do is instead of dividing it in half into two equal parts, we gotta divide it into three equal parts. So we're gonna have to divide it to here and then there, and then these, lengths, these three lengths have to be the same. And so notice that we can't really, for example, take seven plus one and divide it by three, right? That would give us eight over three, which wouldn't make sense because if you think about it between one and seven, what's the distance? It's six, dividing it by three, that would give us two. So each of these have to be two units. So one plus two would give us three. 3 plus 2 would give us 5, and then 5 plus 2 would give us 7. And so notice doing this, this 8 over 3, it doesn't give us anything. First off, it's just one value. We need to find two values in this case. And the 8 over 3 is neither the 3 nor the 5. Okay, so we can't do something like that. So before we were finding one midpoint, now we have to find two points that split it up into three equal parts. And so the process of getting these two points is first we actually have to take the difference between seven and one, like I just described, which was six, and then divide that by three. And then that gives you two. Now this two here, it's not one of these points, this two is gonna represent the distance between each of these points. So then what we do is we take this endpoint one and then we add two to get three and then we take three and add two to get five and then we take five and add two to get seven or we could go the other way we could do seven minus two gives us five five minus two gives us three three minus two gives us one right so that's the process that we're going to be using with these over here we're going to go through the x value separately find the distance between them divide that distance by three, and then add that distance to this uh, three times, right? Or actually only twice to get these values. Okay, so let's do that. So we have um, negative two and three. First off, let's, uh, yeah, let's draw, why not? It's a rough diagram here. So negative two and three, that's like here. And then we'll say 14 and seven, that's like over here. Okay, so we got 14 and seven, and then negative two and three. So we gotta find two points here that's gonna split that up into three equal parts. So again, we look at the X values and the Y values separately. So the X values of the endpoints are negative two and 14, and we just go through that exact same process that I just did. So we would take the difference between these. So be careful, right, because this is a negative two. This is a positive 14, so when we subtract, we're subtracting that in brackets, so this would be, and then, yeah, sorry, so we do that, and then what we would do is we would take that, and then we would divide it by three. And that would give us 16 
over 3, like that. So that represents the distance between the points. So there's going to be a point like over here and over here. This is not necessarily to scale, but just approximately that's what's going to happen there. So the distance of the x values between these points is going to be 16 over 3. So what we could do now that we have this distance is we would take negative 2 and add 16 over 3. So we would have negative 2 plus 16 over 3, which would be like uh, negative 6 over 3 plus 16 over 3 which would give us 10 over 3, like that. So the x value of this point would be 10 over 3. And then if we want to get the x value of this point, we would just take the 10 over 3 and add that same distance of 16 over 3, which would give us 26 over 3. So this here, the x value over here would be 26 over 3. And then we could do a check. Notice how if we take 26 over 3 and add 16 over 3, that would give us 42 over 3, which would give us 14, which would be that x value right there. Right. So from this x value, we kept on adding 16 over 3 to get these x values. And then you do the same thing but with the y values. So notice the y values are 3 and 7, right? 3 and 7 of the endpoints. So we take the difference between them and divide it by 3, which would give us 4 over 3. So that would be the distance of the y values between the points. So then we take this y value, the first one, 3, and we add 4 over 3, which would be like 9 over 3 plus 4 over 3, which would give us 13 over 3. So this would be 13 over 3. Then we take 13 over 3 and add 4 over 3, which would give us 17 over 3. So that would be this y value. And then if you just want to quickly check it, you could take 17 over 3, add 4 over 3, which would give us 21 over 3 which would give us 7 over here, right? So these here are the coordinates on this line segment that splits the line segment into three equal parts.